Hello. Hello. Jesus loves you. <laughs> okay. We have a word regarding wisdom for you today. I will be reading out of James chapter 3, verses 13 to 18 from the NASB version. Here we go. Who among you is wise and understanding? Let him show it by his good behavior, his deeds in the gentleness of wisdom. But if you have bitter jealousy and selfish ambition in your heart, do not be arrogant and so lie against the truth. This wisdom is not that which comes down from above, but is earthly, natural, demonic. For where jealousy and selfish ambition exist, there is disorder and every evil thing. But the wisdom from above is first pure, then peaceable, gentle, reasonable, full of mercy and good fruits, unwavering, without hypocrisy. And the seed whose fruit is righteousness is sown in peace by those who make peace. The Lord wants you to recognize his wisdom, his understanding. In this scripture from James, he wants us to point out that all the so-called wisdom, which is earthly, natural, and demonic, is focused on self. Self. (laughs) (laughs) It is described by the words jealousy, selfish ambition, arrogance, earthly, and natural. Can you see that he is saying that this wisdom regarding self is exceedingly rampant in the world right now? What a man thinks in his heart is of the greatest importance because the heart is what the Lord is interested in. If we only think of self, like self-preservation, our own ambitions, our rights, our lives, our preservation, who we feel like we are, we have opened ourselves up to be led by fear, disorder, and every evil thing. Wow. That's what thinking about self does for us. Mm -hmm. But God is love. When our heart is focused on him, then the wisdom that flows from us is pure peaceable, gentle, reasonable, merciful, unwavering, without hypocrisy, and produces good fruit. Looking uh, out at our world then today, in August of 2021, what do we or should we pay attention to? Should we pay attention to the chaos, the jab, the violence and threats directed toward those who refuse the Uh, VAX, the government corruption, the cabal maybe, will we lose our job, will we lose our life? The Lord says, no, rest in me. I am good. Mm -hmm. I do not fear and you shouldn't either. Draw near to me and I will draw near to you. Listen to my voice Come on, I desire to know you. I love you, and I want you to have unending joy, my people. Reject the chaos, the disorder, and all the evil, and give your fear over to me. Mm -hmm. In my presence is perfect peace and joy. Come to me. I will give you rest. Amen. Amen. Wow. You know, there's one other thing... uh... The Holy Spirit was um, speaking to me about while you were reading. Mm-hmm. Um, it's nostalgia. Mm. It's that looking back and thinking, wow, it was so good those years before now. <laughs> <laughs> and, and desiring to be back there. Um, that's not what he's after either. We can only go forward. He's made time so that we cannot go back. But we can go forward. And if we have our eye on him, he leads us. You know, you hear that voice behind you. And it says, you know, this is the way. Walk in it. Well, 
that's always going forward, isn't it? We don't have a choice. We can't go back, so we always go forward. And I think that's, that's one other thing he wants us to know. Um, it's, it's not that we can't look back with fondness, I suppose, but to desire to be there, to spend our time there, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a waste. Um, he's calling us forward. He's calling us to beat down the gates of hell. He's calling us to do the greater things. He's calling us by his spirit, and that's where we need to be. That's good. A hope in a future. That's what he has for you. Amen. That's right. And two, I, I was thinking of the wisdom of the world today. I look at the, um, the uh, I don't know, the, the alphabet um, people who, oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, who can't tell what gender they are and so on. Um, it's whatever you think in your mind or in your heart that and every and and we think that's okay uh, it doesn't make any sense and it certainly doesn't make any sense to the lord and so uh, not that we obviously should hate them we we love everyone but it's it's still it, it's just an example of living in a world where the focus is on yourself. And it opens you up to the demonic. So, of course, you're deceived. Yes. You think things that are not true. <laughs> right. That's yep. the nature of the enemy. He's a liar and the father of lies. Mm -hmm. So when you're focused on self, you'll be fed lies. Yep. <laughs> Pretty much. That's, <laughs> that's how it works. It <laughs> so. mm -hmm. But when you're focused on the Lord, you're fed the truth because the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. leads us into all truth That's and right. that would be jesus mm -hmm. he is the truth the mm -hmm. way the truth and the life mm -hmm. so amen amen well um jesus loves you so much he wants you to know the truth and he wants you to live wisely mm -hmm. so amen amen hello hello this is uh, Kirk and Tiffany, and we want to tell you about Seeking the Glory of God Ministries and, more importantly, Destiny Road LLC. DestinyRoadStore.com exists to help those who are at risk or have been rescued from human trafficking. While spreading the gospel to the nations, supporting orphanages, and helping our partner Jimmy in Haiti to spread the gospel there. All of the money that you spend at Destiny Road goes to further the Kingdom of Heaven. If you would rather, you may donate to Seeking the Glory of God Ministries and the information is in the description box below this video. God bless you and thank you. God bless you.